What a beautiful race this is, Nick, isn't it? Set to run now. And they're off and racing. Jumping away, Baid, not best away. He's just in behind Maximal and ahead of the pair of them, Namuz comes through at the end of the first furlong to lead. One ruler's up with the pace as well, followed then by Maximal in third position. Little break to Legion of Honor, and Baid, to remain unbeaten, will have to come past all four of these very talented three-year-olds. The early stages then of the Edmondson Hall solicitors, Sir Henry Cecil Stakes, and it's Namuz leading under Ben Curtis from one ruler who still sits in second place. Maximal, Ryan Moore crouched low, riding behind them. Pink Cap bobbing away, a very close third. Baid's keeping a close eye on him, and Legion of Honor just ahead of Baid still, so Baid still in last place as they move on right down the middle of the track towards the second half of the race, and the leader, Namuz. Namuz, one ruler close up. Maximal next. Then in behind them, Legion of Honor and Baid, yet to play his hand towards the far side of the group. And now they head down with two and a half furlongs left to go. Maximal's come under pressure pretty early in the race. Baid breezing into contention over on the far side. The two down the near side are one ruler ahead of Legion of Honor. Namuz has weakened out of it, approaching the final furlong. Baid comes through to hit the front. He's gone past Maximal in impressive style, followed by one ruler. Legion of Honor can't go on. Baid up to the line. Impressive. He slammed a good field here to remain unbeaten. That was really taking. Baid, tremendously impressive. Beats Maximal. Maximal and one ruler, hands down. The Sir Henry Cecil Stakes has gone to Baid. It might only have been listed status, but Baid has produced something approximating a top-level Group 1 performance. He's annihilated horses rated 111, 111, 109. Second is the St James's Palace, fourth Maximal. Third is one ruler. Fourth is Legion of Honor. The form is strong. The winner is very, very good. And this is only his third lifetime start. And he only made his debut at the beginning of last month. Mm. 11 to 10 on favourite. Right, where next? Yeah, well, well, we'll have to wait and see. He's beaten Maximal, a similar sort of distance to the leading three-year-old Myler in poetic flair, hasn't he? Um, and he's done it with any amount up his sleeve as well on his third career start, looking in control at every point of the race. He's a Group 1 horse in the making, I'd be fairly sure of that, granted um, a fair passage through from here, and a huge amount of talent. What steps do they decide to take with him? Because he's only won a listed race here, so they, they can take smaller steps should they wish, but if you wanted someone to plod away through the programme book and develop a horse, then he's in the right hands. Yeah, he is, but he's actually come through the ranks more briskly than a lot of horses from this stable. I and mean, William Haggis is... Um, notably circumspect with the way he campaigns horses such as him. I think there's something else to point out pedigree-wise here, Chris. Even though there is speed in the damn side of the pedigree, he's a see the stars yeah. brother to Hookham, who's a middle distance horse. He you know, ran very well in the in the hardware the other day. So the fact that he's doing this and just kicking aside decent milers as though they're standing still, well. We might just be scratching the surface. Could well be. I mean, we are scratching the surface over this trip, aren't we? That This hasn't got anywhere near the bottom of him. Um, and he's a... Uh, you know, Ma Maximal has um, come off the bridle a good way out, at a point when Baid was still doing it very, very easily, and he's just breezed past him in what is looking like a fairly fast time. I think this is the best time of the day for a mile. Three-year-olds have dipped a second under the under the racing post standard. Oh, I beg your pardon. Sorry, I misheard that. Half a second. I did think a second was was going some, but um, he's done it. Still, it's a very good time and a very smooth performance. I mean, Maximal's a really good horse, and he's flat out here, and he's just breezed past him. I just worried. For half a stride, just after halfway, I wondered whether Baid was just finding the ground a little quick for his liking, but he's got so much class. Yeah, tremendous amount of class, and he's an extremely exciting prospect, isn't he? You know, We, we said beforehand that there was a, a, a possibility that that was the kind of horse he was going to be, and you needed to see him produce this kind of performance for that to be the case, really. And he's produced a performance yeah. just so superior to some very good horses, and he's kicked them aside in the manner of a, a, a top-level horse doing it with a little experience, only two previous starts at a lower level behind him.
I think the beauty, the beauty of high class flat racing in the height of summer is that we can get a bit of really, really disappointing, disheartening news, like the piece of news we got about subjectivists before the race. But then no sooner have we digested that than we see a horse that can excite us you know, to the to the same, if not a greater extent. And and in in Baye, we've certainly got that. Yeah, it'd be interesting to hear what kind of campaign they've got in mind with him on the back of this. In terms of Maximal, well, he's run really well in defeat, hasn't he? He's just bumped into one. He's bumped into a top notcher, I think, and he's he's run his race, I would be would be my reading of it. He's given his running, but he just hasn't been good enough. He'd, he'd have won a regular renewal of this race, but this race has been won by something a little bit classier. And that horse is, is by E. Jim Crowley gearing down late. The horse's ear is pricked as he hits the line really hard to take the Edmondson horse list to Sir Henry Cecil Stakes. If you're going to name a race for one of the great icons of the sport, you want performances like that. And wow, Baye did not disappoint this afternoon. William Haggis will have been possibly a shade disappointed after the eclipse of Al Arsi in the Princess of Wales' stakes. Uh, I'll be interested to hear what he made of that, but I'll be more interested to hear of his plans for this horse, another brilliantly talented colt by See the Stars. William Haggis is delighted with Baid, who's just won the Henry Cecil with Jim Crowley on board and beaten now in three stars. This is a very, very good horse, isn't it? He looks very talented, yeah. All the time people told me after his second run and his first one that he's a good horse, and so we ran him here, which was a bit quick back, to see if he was a good horse, and he looks it, thank yes. God. I mean, the way he went through that race. Yeah, you know, he, he held him up a bit, and he showed a good turn of foot, and he's quicker than his brother. Uh, his hooker. Yeah, who's a good horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll come back to, to that, that line of things. Where might you go next with him? I don't know, the, the obvious race is the Group 3 race at Goodwood, but um, that's not very long, and that'll be four races in two months. You know, he's a young horse, he's, a, he's got a career in front of him and I don't want to milk him too early, so I, I, I just talk to Angus and, and we'll, we'll make a plan, but there'll be no rush. OK, so the thoroughbred stakes may be just if you're happy with him, but that may be too much yeah, too soon. Yeah, I mean, that's the obvious race. Yes, of course. But I'm not saying it's too much too soon, but I think it's another race and I, I, I think we need to space his races out, you know, probably three more maximum this year. Uh, you know, and if he's going to have a good four-year-old career, he he needs to be looked after as well as raced. Something like the Celebration Mile? I put him in. Mm. I think he closed on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. He's in. That's a possibility. Lots of possibilities. He'll you get you'll get entries in every smart race from now on. Group ones as well. I think so. I think you'd be justified too, Absolutely. wouldn't you? 